but FYI on, on Steph, the uh, and x-rays last night negative, no other evaluation scheduled this time. So did you get any sleep last night? Are you trying to talk about me? Did I look that bad? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I uh, got some good sleep. Uh, I had a dream, though. I had a dream that uh, Joe Lacob finished seventh in the voting for owner of the year. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just woke up in chills. I couldn't believe it. I, be no respect. Hey, no respect. That would be three sevens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's much better than that. I mean, I had him number one. <laughs> do, you, do you get the sense that this is, uh, you know, a kind of protocol for Curry's ankle? That it hurts, but it'll be fine for the next game? You know, once again, we're back to, you know, trusting the process, treatment. Uh, around the clock and seeing how he is tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, we've become veterans at this. But, you know, he's a gamer, and uh, no matter what, we're looking forward to tomorrow. How much does an early start play into that process? Has that changed much for you guys? Well, it forces you to, you know, obviously it doesn't give you the same amount of time as if he played if we played at night, but no matter what, you know, it is what it is. That's why you be careful what you ask for. You know, it looks like, okay, the aging team forced to play, you know, one day's rest and then, you know, but it all works out. It all works out. Just to clarify, what you're saying is he may play tomorrow and he may not. It's just unclear at this point. Yes. Um, basically, we got to trust the process. Um, you know, he'll continue to get treatment and see how he feels after all of that is done tomorrow, and then we'll make a decision. Marco, would you talk about the matchup? Did they, what did they do? It looked like they, they maybe changed the matchups defensively on you guys that, yeah, there were some missed open shots, but they really made it more difficult for Curry and Clay. really. How did they do that? Um, I won't agree with that. I think they got looks. I think. You know, they, they, they played much harder than we played. They played better than we played. Um, we did not pay attention to detail. We were not as crisp, as sharp as we, you know, displayed in games one and two. And you know, I talked about it from the beginning. It's going to be a, a, you know, it's a heavyweight battle. It's going to be a great series. And, you know, the, the frustrating thing is you go from watching, you know, Sports Center and ESPN News and reading all the information, then, you wake up this morning and leave your computer and your laptop home. <laughs> and you shut the TV off. So uh, that's playoff basketball, and that's the fun part about it. it seems like, like this game, more than the first two games, you put the ball in Jack's hands a lot. Is that, is that because of how they're playing Curry? You saw something? No. I think, uh, you know, after, after Steph got hurt, then the ball was in Jack's hands. Up until that point, I think it was pretty much the same as we've always been. Um, we're really not concerned about the offensive end. You know, we didn't play our brand of defense. We were not, you know, on point uh, the way we've been and and what we've the way we've been known to defend. It just it just was a bad performance by us. And as crazy as it sounds, you know, you look at Tony Parker the second half after a huge first half. You look at Tim Duncan. I mean. We still, we're not satisfied. We're much better than the way we play defensively. It seems like in the second half, they did the job defensively. They shot 40%, but then you shot 37%. Back and forth. Is that lack of transition? Do you ever get any tempo? We just was out of sync. And I think even in putting together a run, I remember the score 79, 78, somewhere like around there. Danny Green hits, Danny Green hits a three. That's off of a breakdown. We don't make those mistakes when we're shot. Um, and that's how you win or lose ball games. You've had this conversation with Steph before and the medical staff before. Based on that, do you have a gut on how you think things go tomorrow for Steph? No, no, not at all. Again, as usual, just staying true to the process. He'll get treatment all day long and um, I'll, have a, I'll stay in constant contact with him. And then tomorrow we'll see how he feels and make a decision uh, whether he plays or not you know, tomorrow. But at the end of the day, 
we uh, we feel good about tomorrow. And if he goes, he goes. If he doesn't, then Jared Jack will be our starting point guard, and we'll move forward. And beyond the injury, what, what toll do you think the big minutes in the playoffs have had? Did you see him getting tired in the last game or two? No, I think he sprained his ankle. It was no, clear. Beyond, beyond the injury, I mean, no. even before that. No. No. Were you seeing him having tired legs at all? No. No, I don't think that. Not at all. You shoot 41% of you know, the series, way lower than Denver. Is that just because they're playing better defense on you? Um, I think they're playing, you know, obviously they're, they're, they're a very good defensive team. Um, they're a disciplined team. They, they pay attention to details and they have a, a strategy and a game plan uh, which attempts to force you into uncomfortable situations like any good defensive team. Uh, this will make a miss lead. And I think at the end of the day, he's missed some shots, some very makeable shots, and that happens. But I'm very comfortable and confident uh, with Steph Curry and our, and our team offensively. Do you look at last night as a real missed opportunity to take control of this Series. No, this is this is a heavyweight battle. Uh, we can win on their floor. They can win on our floor. Um, it's going to be a great series, and, it, and it's been thus far. Uh, so I don't look at it as a missed opportunity at all. With us, it's a learning experience. We build, we watch film, and we get better. You know, the same way they responded. It's might be tough to answer without seeing him yet at practice, but do you, uh, do you get a sense that you might get more out of David in, in game four? Not really sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not really sure at all. I have a conversation with him, see how he's feeling, and uh, I thought he played great in the three minutes. Um, gave us a you know burst of energy, and um, but I'm not really sure. I'm not going to I'm I'm not going to put a demand on his body that he's not able to respond to. Um, but I thought he played extremely well. Were there any use in the game you thought about putting him in? No, and the reason why, um, I thought the three minute, you know, when I had taken him out in the first half, uh, maybe I read it wrong, but I, I thought, I didn't like the way, you know, one trip he ran, but he said he was just, that was just his look, you know. Uh, <laughs> But um, no, I didn't think about putting him back in. What do you use as criteria as judging how to play him and how to use him? Just gut feeling? I'm, that's it. I'm a flow guy, and I thought it was the right time and place to put him in. Uh, it worked out extremely well. And more importantly, I wanted to see how he responded today and moving forward. Uh, maybe it goes a little bit more, but I, you know, these are my guys, and I'm not going to put them in position to put them in harm's way at all. Could an extra few hours, the difference between a Sunday night and a Sunday afternoon tip-off make a difference in Steph's situation? It could, but nothing we could do about it now. Uh, the clock is ticking, and um, one way or another, we'll be ready for game four. Based on your team this year, when you ask Derek Jack to step up, uh, if you need him to play, you know, point guard a lot. We went and got him for this reason. Mm -hmm. uh, with Steph Curry or without, we went and got Jared Jack for this reason. Uh, he's a gamer, um, and he'll be ready for game four. So that's not a concern. I'll probably, you know, in the past be biting my nails, but we got a proven guy. And a proven guy that has, uh, with his play, allowed us to be in the position we're in today. You've had three straight games where Bogan looks lively and active on short rest. Yes, I think he's playing great basketball, protecting the paint, playing great defense on Tim, battling, um, making plays. Uh, so I, I'm very pleased with what he's given us. And I mean, you you need that type of presence if you expect to continue to be playing. You were worried that shaving his beard would lose some of that. <laughs> there was no concerns. I, I told him, you know, it shows you how far we've come. I knew he shaved even before I saw him. You know, I'm reading the internet and then commenting that Bogut is clean shaven. I'm like, wow. Uh, so it's, uh, it, it only gets uh, better or worse depending on how you look at it. Beyond Steph's uh, 
Steve today. How is he doing otherwise? He's fine. Uh, as I was coming to practice, uh, we passed each other on the intersection and both hit the horn and waved, so he's doing fine. That's all you needed to say? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, I've, I've been there where I put my head down. I don't want to speak to my coaches. So. <laughs> you talked a lot about the steps that couple already. I mean, at what point does it become too much? I'm not the guy to ask that, quite honestly. I'm not that, that smart. Um, but when you talk about our doctors, our training staff, this organization, we are not going to do anything, and I think it's proven, to put our guys in a situation or a position where um, they can damage themselves or their future. It's not that important. Are you concerned that with his ankles this will be a career-long issue, concern? Not a concern at all. Not a concern at all. You think that he won't continue to sprain his ankles? Not a concern. I, I guarantee you somebody's going to sprain the ankle uh, maybe the rest of the way in the playoffs. One of these players on one of these teams are, uh, without a doubt, it'll happen next year. So it happens in the game of basketball. I don't think it's an issue with Steph Curry. When Jared has, been, when Jared has started for you and played big minutes for you this season, what, is he, what do you get from him and what do you expect to get from him? Toughness, edge, competitor, winner. Um, Honest guy that knows when he plays great and knows when he plays bad. He owns it, and um, you know his winning spirit and attacking spirit is contagious in our locker room. So we went and got him for a reason. Uh, and if called upon, whether it be to start or to come off the bench, uh, he will be ready and he will perform.